Yeah, hello everyone. Today we are going to look at anatomy of a human heart. You know, the function of the heart is to pump blood to all parts of the body. And here we have the diagram here showing the heart. As you can see, we have different veins and arteries of the heart. We can see that we have the aorta we have pulmonary artery we have pulmonary then then we have what we call the vena cava we also have some chambers which is the right atrium right ventricle left atrium and left ventricle also some other part like mitral valves left ventricle and then we have pericardium Pericardium is more like the skin that keeps the heart well lubricated. So let's look at this, this description here about the heart, what the heart does. So they are saying, as you read this, your heart is pumping about five quarters of blood throughout your body. The blood is traveling through more than 60,000 miles of blood vessels, arteries, veins, capillaries. That's enough to circle the equator twice and then move. So, here again, a heart works tirelessly over a lifetime. During an average lifespan, the heart beats 3 billion times without a single break not bad for a muscle the size of the fist and lighter than a couple of baseball what's the point of all this hard labor the biggest point of all life itself so the blood will perform three million times without a single break and other is of three billion times without a single break so that it gives us life so as we know we have got the chambers we have got about the four chambers the left ventricle the right ventricle we have the right atrium we have the left ventricle so let's look at function of some of these arteries so arteries like iota or main artery carries blood carries blood the from the heart left side to the organs of the body it carries blood from the heart left side if you look at the heart left side is your right side here that's where the left is your your right hand is as you are looking at this diagram that's where the left side of the heart is so an iota or main artery it carries blood from the heart left side to the organs of the body as you can see there are different organs of the body it can be liver and just a lot hmm. and then what about the pulmonary artery the pulmonary artery carries low oxygen blood from the heart to the lungs it carries low oxygen blood the blood that has got less oxygen and then what about the pulmonary vein carries oxygen leach blood from the lungs to the heart oxygen leach blood from the lung to the heart so we can say low oxygen as deoxygenated blood and then rich in oxygen we can say oxygenated hmm. Those are scientific terms that you need to be familiar with. Also, we have the right atrium there. And then we have the pericardium. Pelid this is science. It's full of pronunciation. Yeah. Which is a slim skin that keeps the heart well lubricated. It's a thin skin. It makes sure that the heart is well lubricated. Lubrication is where blood flow has to pass without any corrosion friction you know it's hard to need to have that lubrication and then we have the triscube valve these are valves that will prevent the back flow of blood 
and then we have the right ventricle here the right ventricle receives blood from the right atrium the right atrium which is on top here and then and forces blood into the what pulmonary artery which is where the pulmonary artery the pulmonary artery is there so blood will flow there to the right ventricle and pass through this until to the pulmonary artery pulmonary artery is this one that's the it also have got what a pulmonic valve this pulmonic valve will avoid the back flow of blood going back to the right ventricle and then we also have what we call coronary arteries coronary arteries feed oxygen rich blood to the heart muscle it feeds what oxygen blood to the heart muscle and then we have the mistral valve mistral valve is found just on top there the left ventricle and then the pulmonic valve we have already talked about it and then we have the left ventricle there yeah so that's all about the heart so here they are saying in a way you have two hearts in a way you have two hearts the right heart handles only used low oxygen blood the left heart deals only with oxygen rich blood right refers to the side of your body where your right arm left and so on are located we have already talked about it this so these are some of the functions of the heart so a function of the heart is to pump blood to all parts of the body you need to have a heart to survive a very good working heart yeah all right guys thank you for watching